So my name is Bektur Iskander and I'm from Bishkek, Kyrgyz Republic and I'm the head of the project called Club.kg. Here is the logo, it's in Russian, yeah. Uh, this is the, the first independent blogs and virtual community in Kyrgyzstan and uh, we're trying to develop all this Web 2.0 things in, in our country, which is actually new for our country and for the whole Central Asian region. So we are the pioneers, which is really good for us. Very good. And why are you doing these, these blogs? Why are you doing this project? Well, um, I'm very interested in internet and I think that actually the future is with the internet because um, it is, it is a, a unique thing uh, which can actually unite so many people from so many different countries, which can help communicating people. Actually, the world has become uh, much tighter after internet appeared. So uh, I think that for our country it is very important to become a part of this global link, uh, of this global convention with the internet. So uh, that's why I started our, our project and also I think that it's the right time to make money in the internet. <laughs> that is my personal reason. Uh, it is not really so easy right now to make money in the Kyrgyz internet. But I think that the enthusiasts who are doing it now, they will get a lot of benefit when we will start doing money. What do you think about um, censorship on the internet? Is this a, a problem or an issue that you face? Uh, in Kyrgyzstan, fortunately, we don't face so much problems with that. Uh, there was only one case that I remember when one person had to edit his posts. Uh, it was on our biggest uh, photographic website, photo.in.kg, when one of the photographers, he published a lot of... Um, he had an accreditation in the parliament, so he could publish uh, parliament uh, members and also president and some other guys like that, and he published their photographs and he commented some really maybe a bit rude things about them uh, and they were there for a couple of months and then suddenly he changed all his comments about that and he said I apologize to Mr. President for saying such things about you. I think maybe maybe our uh, national security agency worked with him um, but this was the only case and probably they operated uh, with the term in our constitution that you can actually not write rude words about anyone and he will have a right to, to, to judge, judge you somehow. I don't know really how exactly it works, but uh, mostly we don't have in Kyrgyzstan problems with that. We have problems in other Central Asian countries with that, more problems, especially in Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan, which are very close and repressive countries, uh, but not in Kyrgyzstan so much. So in our blogs actually some bloggers are laughing at, at President and Prime Minister and everyone else and nothing has happened yet and hopefully will not happen. Yeah, very good. Is this your first time um, in the Netherlands or Western Europe? Or? Uh, I've been to Western Europe before. I've been to the UK. Um, this is my first time in the Netherlands. Yeah. So. What do you think so far? Well, I'm surprised uh, why it is not under the sea yet. <laughs> because you see, I I seen it from the plane and I saw that actually the sea is so close and there are so many channels and so many lakes. And it seems that, well, in a minute it will go under the sea, but it, it has not gone. I, I mean, it's great how you find that. Um, and um, I have never seen so many channels in one place, I mean, these water channels. Uh, yesterday, I managed to walk through the center of Amsterdam alone. Uh, unfortunately, I had great map. And, uh, another great thing, it is connected with the internet. I used Google Maps, actually, to find this place. And it helped me a lot. And. Um, it's amazing. I, I do like European European cities, old cities, because uh, this is something that uh, we don't have in Bishkek. Our city is quite new, so we don't have really a lot of old architecture in our city. And here I enjoy all these old buildings. Yeah. And then the final question is, do you think blogging, can it change the world or your world? It actually has already changed, I think, the whole world, because now you see, the old, the old way of uh, media was that it was one-sided. All the media were one-sided. We had a bunch of journalists who were writing things, and millions of readers who just read that and couldn't couldn't have their voice uh, be heard. And right now, everything has changed. Even in Kyrgyzstan, actually, we had the most famous case in 2005, in March 2005, when um, there were. Mm, mass riots in Bishkek and our president, pre previous president, was thrown 
by masses during these opposition rallies. And um, those days, all the information agency websites were not working because uh, previous president's hackers team actually, uh, DOAS, attacked these websites. So, um, so all people started reading blogs, which was the first time when blogs made a significant thing in, in, in Kyrgyzstan. There was a famous blogger, her name is Yelena Skachiva. She has a blog in Life Journal, and uh, she started updating her blog every 10 minutes, writing on what is going on in Bishkek, because we had a really terrible night after these riots, because there were a lot of looters, and they uh, uh, destroyed many of the shops in the center of the city, so everyone was feeling that something is terrible going on in the city, and everyone wanted to know what is going on. And uh, fortunately, internet is quite popular in Bishkek, so everyone could just uh, know it from these blogs. So uh, it changed actually. People get uh, more access to the information that could not be maybe accessed before. Very good. Well, that's it. Thank you very much. You're we hope welcome. You enjoy the rest of your time. Yeah. Here. Thank you. I'm enjoying it. We don't have such canals in Bishkek, so <laughs> it's one of the rare occasions when I can stand in a boat in the center of the city. Yeah. <laughs> so this is it. <laughs>